Hey guys, it's Stephanie with Simmerkey. I am recording a new featured house tour today submitted by my friend Marcy Meows. And this is a sorority and I'm so excited to get right into it. I can already tell just from placing the lot that it is huge and there's going to be a lot to look at. So I'm super, super excited. So let's go tour the house. <laughs> Okay, so here we are at the front entrance, so we're going to start off like we always do, just touring the landscaping, the outside, and the surroundings. Alright, so getting out of camera mode for a second here. Probably probably better to go into an aerial mode. Um, okay, so here's my sim. She's already on the property right, waiting to tour. And right here it looks like we have the front entrance through a gate, and then over on this side um, we have another large gate for cars and parking. And this is actually a cute little parking area right here. You can fit plenty of cars, which is great. Um, over on this side we have a little garden, very, very cute garden here. I love the purple flowers. Um, I love like the little round area that was created here with all of these plants that's really cute you don't see that too often we have some ginseng a kona bean plant a midnight bean plant bumble leaf all sorts of stuff and the sprinkler right in the middle to keep them nice and hydrated and then over over on this side um i won't go into these yet but these look like they're little maybe like clubhouses or i don't know little extra little buildings here on the side Oh, big pool. <laughs> I love, I love pools and I love water. So this beautiful, it's beautiful. Look at the, the dark blue. I really like it. Oh, and I really like, oh my gosh. I like the wallpaper that's used in here because it makes it look like it's super deep. I don't know. I don't know. I never thought to do that. It looks amazing. Like I would, oh my gosh, I want to take a dip in that pool. And speaking of loving the water, ah, hot tub. This is actually my favorite hot tub in the game. That's perfect. I love how it has the little bamboo. I think those are like bamboo shoots and the rocks around it. It looks very peaceful and tranquil. And I want a hot tub like that in real life. <laughs> um, over here, ah, talk. We have a little bonfire pit. Very cute with the rocks as well. We have a few more lounge areas. Um, all these, all these lounge chairs with tiki torches. Very cool. Oh, we have another big bonfire pit over here as well. That's awesome. I like how you placed, um, or how she, how Marcy placed the large rocks around the bonfire. Definitely gives it a cool look. Um, just more landscaping. Looks like we have another structure. Ooh, did you see the roof? Look, that's really cool. I like that. Sort of like a stacked staggering roof very creative <laughs> all right so gosh i don't even know where to start like this place looks humongous um i guess we'll start with like these little structures out here since they're technically not part of the house or the sorority or i guess i think she said you could turn it to like a fr fraternity or anything else um actually that's what i should do i should read you the description before we go any further so one second Okay, so according to Marcy's description, and the download link, of course, will be in the description below, she says, this is a remodel of the first empty house in the bin from the base game, Miramons. I have added an addition to the back of the house, a basement, a pool, pool house, and two small buildings to help with studying. These include a science room, a music room for a band to get together, and a classroom with crafting, woodworking, and fashion styling in the back. There's a garden that has all of the plants from university. I made a sorority, but you can change it to a dorm or fraternity. So yeah, big shout out to Marcy for this. I uh, can't wait to see this remodel that she's done. So with that being said, <laughs> let's go. Let's go back to the tour here. Um, all right, so this appears to be the, the music room. Very cool. Very cool. Now, I know Marcy uses some store content, but I think there's only a couple a couple items that I didn't have, so I don't even know if we'll notice because, yeah, we probably won't notice at all. But anyways, there's lots of instruments in here. I love the drum kit um, or drum set, and this chair back here has, like, some... I don't know, duct tape or something on it. it. Looks like looks like the furniture I had in college because all of it was found in the dumpsters. I'm not proud of that. Hell, I am proud of that. I, I didn't pay for my furniture in college, okay? <laughs> Everything was free and found in a dumpster or on the curbside or when someone would move out an apart, uh, 
out of an apartment and give it to me. So no shame in that. <laughs> um, do I have the lights on? Oh my gosh. I will forever struggle with lights in this game. <laughs> there we go. Light. <laughs> I should have done that a second ago. Sorry. Oh yeah. Lots of, lots of fun, fun <laughs> dumpster diving furniture in here. <laughs> All right, so over on this side, I guess this is like the science room. I don't know what any of this stuff is because I never really, I never really use a science career or, or the science degree. Um, I think this is where you can make like, I don't want to say potions. What's the right word? Chemicals? I don't know. <laughs> Oh, it is potions. Okay, so you can discover potions here. Um, we have the nice whiteboard. We have our skull, not skull, skeleton. So we can learn about the body and anatomy. And I don't even know. This is a science research thing. You can clone samples, um, horticulture experiment. That's with like plants and stuff. Uh, a splicing, ex oh, a gene splicing experiment, radiation experiment. Okay, all sorts of stuff I didn't, I, I've never used. I didn't even know existed. Um, but this looks like a torture device. A brain enhancement or study the brain? Mm, not me, not my brain. <laughs> I wouldn't allow that. And a little computer desk over here. So that's that's the science research room. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, is that it for this little structure over here? We have another one here, but it looks like it might be up a level. Yeah. Oh, cool. This is like, I don't know what this is. A kitchen game area. I mean, party area, maybe. I don't know. We've got a grill. Uh, we have our, our keg stand for juice. Juice, not alcohol. <laughs> um, we have a bar with a TV. Very cool. Juice bar over here. Uh, we have a little bathroom with multiple showers. I could come in handy. Um, a kitchen area. Gosh, this is very realistic. It looks like a real a real dorm. Um, I, I never lived in dorms. I had, I had, um, I lived in my own house and I just commuted to school. It wasn't very far, but I have seen dorms and yeah, this looks pretty realistic. There's a ping pong table here for some gaming, which is awesome. Some speakers on the wall so you can listen to music and oh, look at the view into the pool. That's a beautiful view. I would definitely hang out here, grill some hot dogs, go for a dip. Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> That's like the little pool house, I guess. And what is this? It looks like it's radiating. It's just like a frisbee or something, but it looks like it's glowing. <laughs> All right, we saw the pool already. I think there were there were two more structures. Oh, I didn't see the diving boards. That's cool. Um, I think there were two more structures on this side, or one. One big structure. Is this like? Hmm. This looks like a lecture hall trying to see camera mode would be helpful here okay so yeah you've got the podium with the microphone for the professor to to give a lecture you have the uncomfortable seating with the wooden wooden desks for your books and laptops um what's this is this like a woodworking area I think I'm not sure I think that's what that is. We'll go, we'll go with that. I'm probably wrong, but, <laughs> uh, oh yeah, I would, I would, I would say this is a shop, some sort of woodworking shop or, whoa, can you make like medieval torture instruments over here? <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know what this stuff is guys. <laughs> um, is this the fashion studio? Oh, cool. You can give yourself a makeover. Very neat. That's a cool little building. Sort of looks like a little woodshed, but I like it lots to do in there and let's go back up a level I'm pretty sure that's it for the outside now so actually let's go up a couple levels all right so this is like the basic outside structure you have uh, ooh, a bunch of bicycles down here it's good to have bike parking and um, we have the stairs that come up from either side of the building up to this first main floor or no I guess this is technically the first floor down here maybe maybe you're meant to go upstairs first and then downstairs let's let's start on the second floor I guess this is <laughs> all right I'll put the walls back up for one second so you can see again all right so you go in through here this is 
this is the living room area. Very cool. Um, there's like a fireplace and some more furniture here. Nice green plaid, totally college looking furniture. Even, even, even the laundry hamper matches. Look at that. They must've got a deal at like Walmart or something. <laughs> All right, what is over on the right-hand side? Okay, well, here's the stairs that go up. I kind of want to go down. Oh, wait, there's a nice big hallway. All right, down the hallway. And to the right, it looks like we have a room over here. Oh, okay, it's a little dining room. Where did the pineapple drink come from? Ooh, that's cool. I don't know. I really like that, though. <laughs> um, I don't know if that's a buy to bug item. I've, I don't think I've seen it before, but I... I want, I want pineapple juice for all of my Sims all the time. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, so we have the dining room here, and then I guess this is the kitchen. Um, we've got some nice cabinets, lots of counter space, a nice modern fridge, a stove, fire alarm, very important in the Sims. And is this? Let me put the walls back up for a second because I'm... I'm a little confused. All right, I'm kind of going to do an overview here. So we had the living room. Still don't know how to get downstairs. Oh, there's a staircase hiding right there. We'll go down in a second because there's a couple more rooms over here. It's a bedroom. That has a nice large bedroom. Oh my gosh, I wonder if they're all this big. Um, and then there's like a hall, a little hall bath right here. Just a, a half bath. You have the toilet and the sink, everything you need. And yeah, so let's go through this bedroom. So, yeah, wow, I feel like this might be the biggest bedroom in here. I know I haven't seen any others yet, but this seems huge for, for a dorm. Or, I guess for even a sorority or a fraternity. But we've got a nice large double bed. Um, we've got a bookcase over on this side. Um, let's see. Oh, look at the view of the pool from here. Ah, uh, I want this to be my room. If this was my sorority, this would be my room. <laughs> Um, the furniture is a little outdated, but I think it's meant to look that way. And then over on this side, we have a beautiful little computer area with a, a reading chair as well. And I like the orange and blue striped walls. I love orange. Uh, it's not it's not a, a color you see in design very often. Uh, it's often associated with like 70s retro stuff, but I really, I love orange. I love me some orange. And then we have the, um, this bedroom has its own bathroom super cool toilet sink laundry hamper and a nice stand-up shower i like it i like it a lot <laughs> all right and then over here this kind of takes us to a little balcony area we didn't really see that well when we were touring the outside but there's a couple lounge chairs and a chess table very nice it wraps around like the whole the whole floor so that's really really neat all right, so now let's go downstairs first because that, that's really intriguing me. So these little tiny, oh my gosh, these tiny little stairs, it's like hidden. Look at that. <laughs> that's kind of steep, huh? So you go down here and you're, you're met by this like sharp little angle. That's why I was confused. And then you go down this part of the hallway, which there is a bookcase and laundry hamper. And then when you turn to the right, we have uh, a little TV room, it looks like, a little entertainment room. We've got a couch and a nice big TV. Just just what I like. <laughs> just what I like. This is really cool. It looks like one, one big unit. And then if we keep turning over this way, we have another study area. I don't know why the study area would be next to the TV. I think, well, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not going to think about that too much, but there's a bathroom down here as well. Very nice sized. I like, I like that there's lots of bathrooms when you have lots of Sims in the house. It's very helpful. And then just go down even more. This looks like it's a little, a little room with some plants, um, to sort of like a hall, I guess Put the walls back down, but yeah, it looks like it goes down even more into what's this? I don't know, another little living area over here. Um, a bar, a bar with a TV. Oh, a pool table. Yeah, it's like a game room. I love pool. I'm horrible at playing pool. Like, seriously, I suck. 
but I love to play and I used to be obsessed with Yahoo pool. I know, right? That's like really dating me. Is that even around still? Do people still play like pool together together through Yahoo games? I don't know if that's a thing, but you could like chat with people and I was really good. I was great at online pool. I think I was like in the top third at one point, just a little bragging rights there. <laughs> for something that nobody cares or remembers about. But yeah, I, uh, I was really good at online pool. <laughs> uh, real life, not so much. So down here is the laundry room. I figured we would have a washer and dryer somewhere with all the laundry hampers throughout the, the build. Very cute bathroom. I like it a lot. I do like this washer and dryer set. Very modern, uh, very modern. And tub shower combo with some bubble bath. My favorite. I love bath bombs and bubble baths and hot tubs and anything like that and then there is sort of a more communal bathroom over here with plenty of toilet stalls and a couple of these um public showers i don't know these always creep me out uh thankfully i've never had to use one like this so <laughs> i don't know i don't know if i'd like that very much and okay so this is like a a little dorm down here for three sims there's a bunk bed and a loft bed and one computer desk um like this room and then another room here oh is this actually a wall unit i can't tell that's cool though whatever it is but yeah we've got our exercise room couple of treadmills some weightlifting stuff karaoke <laughs> i can't sing um and I don't know, this looks like a nice area to press, practice dancing or something. I don't know why there's a random fish on the mirror. I don't know. <laughs> don't know. A little bit of decoration there. This place is huge. Oh my gosh. I Huge. So let's do a floor plan shot of this. Make sure we didn't miss anything. So I guess this is officially the basement. Um, this is where we came down. There was the living area. The pool table bar. Do we miss this bedroom? I guess there's a bedroom right here. Um, yeah. I think we missed that. Bedroom, another bedroom, and the exercise room. And the big shared bathroom. <laughs> and I think I saw something over here. Oh, it's just the pool and the hot tub. Okay. So that is it for the basement. And we already saw the first floor. But let's just do a um, an overview and did we miss this bedroom oh my gosh i have like the worst memory in the world i don't know but there it is <laughs> um we saw all of these structures out here just just double checking just double checking so i don't miss anything all right i think we're good to go up to the next floor uh oh yeah we saw this one already too so basement first floor this is technically the second floor let's go up to the third it looks like there's two ways to get up two different staircases here so we come up to a little balcony area which has uh plenty of places to study it's kind of cool you could be up here and study and just kind of like look down look down at your other other sims and see what they're doing <laughs> a little creepy right <laughs> i'm creepy i'm sorry <laughs> I'm sure it wasn't even meant to be that way, but yeah, you could just like spy on everybody. <laughs> so we have uh, a computer here and here and a drafting table. I know what this one is. You can do fashion or interior design or sketches or practice drawing. Um, I use this quite often. All right. And let's, okay. So we've got a hallway. Looks like there's a bunch of bedrooms over here. Look at that bed spread. <laughs> That's very, um, I don't know. I don't know what I was going to say. Very suave. <laughs> I like it. This would make a great, a great room for, for a guy. Um, like, like I said earlier, you could use this as a sorority, a fraternity, or just, just a dorm. So I keep calling it a sorority. I'll, I'll keep calling it whatever I feel like. Sorry. <laughs> um, so this bedroom has its own computer area as well and a dresser, nice dresser with a nice mirror and it looks like it has its own bath. No, it's a shared bathroom. Pretty nice size. And it's shared with this bedroom over here. Whoa, nice and green. This reminds me of the luck of the Irish. <laughs> I like it. I like the green walls. Very cool. So yeah, there's a, oh, I love this desk too. It's uh, sort of like the artist's desk. 
and this room has a laptop as well a little computer area and a dresser um what's this oh this is like an easel right yeah just a fancy easel <laughs> and then in the hallway here we have a little end table console table and then to the left we have another bedroom this one just has a single bed which is kind of cool lots of browns and yellows in here um they also have their little computer area and bookshelf and ooh, this one has a tv let's put the walls up so we can see that better yep oh and look it has um it has an exit to the balcony so you could view the pool i like this room too um another easel outside anything else any other outdoor space and this room has its own bathroom right here cute little bathroom so before I do a recap of this floor let's see if we missed anything on this side I think that's it all right so let's do a little overview here so we have the stairs that came up the little study area um, and three bedrooms on this floor we have this one and this one with the shared bath in the middle and then this one that has a cool balcony with the pool view and its own bathroom so uh there is another flight of stairs so that means there's at least one more story well, let's go up and see what we discover we'll go up and our walls are are up already all right so as soon as you come upstairs it takes you to this little landing with uh a speaker for some music another laundry hamper i i have a feeling there's so many laundry hamper hampers because i'm sure the sims just throw their clothes everywhere i know that when i played university life every like everywhere there was laundry on the floor just piles of dirty clothes so that's why there's so many hampers <laughs> um there is a telescope right here with a a nice view nice little pretty window so that you can research the stars and the planets and all of that i think we could put the walls down now there we go and once you come through this part of the hallway it takes you into this bedroom oh i really like this bedroom oh i like this one a lot uh, i love the bed with the oh this is like the it's not really a swing it's like that outdoor bench that i love Oh, that's right in front of the bed. That looks so cute in front of the canopy bed. I'm totally going to steal this idea and use it in my builds because I love it. Ah, I love it. <laughs> Very cute. So cute. You could just sit in bed or sit on that comfy little bench and watch TV. Nice large TV there with a video game console. Of course, got to have that. And a desk with a computer. That chair looks super comfy. Those cushions look very nice. Very nice and comfy. And then we have a little dressing area right here and oh my gosh does this room have its own fireplace <gasps> is this part of the bedroom still yes what oh my gosh i changed my mind this is this is the room i would want wait i don't know that one that one with the pool view is really cool too but i love this one i wish i could move this one downstairs to have a view of the pool i mean you kind of have like a little pool view right here um Sort of, not really. <laughs> Definitely like that room. Okay, and then over on this side is another bookcase with another seating area and a bathroom. I think this entire floor is one bedroom. It is. This whole floor is this person's room. Um, very cool. Oh my gosh. I want it. <laughs> I want it. I like it. There's, oh, you know, I never think to do this, but there's a little fire alarm here next to the fireplace. Uh, smart thinking. <laughs> smart thinking, Marcy. All right. Well, gosh, now that I'm in love with this bedroom, I, I would want my own floor. <laughs> I would totally want my own floor. I'm a very private person when it comes to living with other people. So how do you get to the balcony? I don't, I don't see a way out. Oh, oh my gosh. Sorry. There it is. My cute little favorite stained glass door uh, goes out here to the balcony. And the balcony wraps around the whole thing too. Another <laughs> laundry hamper out here because, you know, you need them. Um, but yeah, this little balcony just wraps around that whole room. 
and there's a another easel out here with lots of paint splattered on it. You can tell this one's been used a lot. <laughs> uh, lounge chair. I guess you do do have a pool view from out here. Okay, yeah, this would be my room. <laughs> Hands down, this would be my room. Cool. All right. Let's do a uh, overview shot here. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Where's this bedroom? Oh, that's okay. That's down a story. I got scared for a second. I was like, wait, is there another bedroom up here? <laughs> now this whole floor, this whole floor is amazing. Okay. I think I just spent like 20 minutes on this floor. <laughs> All right. So, uh, yeah, that's it. That's the top. That is the end of the house tour. I placed this in Starlight Shores. I think this is the town I'm in. Um, but yeah, I placed it right here. And there's a beautiful shot of the ocean. I love that. Nice and high up here. But we'll just do another little like 360 around the house. And I love it. I mean, this is really cool. Very cool. I don't know what else to say. I'm just really impressed. Um super impressed. Like my builds never come out this great or this detailed. And God, I'm just going to like keep harping over this pool. <laughs> I think the pool is definitely like the feature of this sorority or dorm or fraternity or whatever you want to make it. And yeah, very, very cool. Oh, since I had like, I was on the ground floor when we viewed the structure over here, I didn't really see this cool roof. So it's almost, almost like a little gazebo, this little pool house here. Um, but yeah, I will, I will leave you with this beautiful shot right here. <laughs> and uh, thank you so much for watching. Marcy, thank you so much for letting me tour this house. It is beautiful. I would love to see more of your builds as well. And of course, the link to her Sims 3, um, exchange, like where she uploads all of her builds will be in the description along with a, a download link for the sorority fraternity dorm amazing build. So you can go ahead and click on that to check it out. And as always, if you want to be featured on my channel, if you want me to tour your house, your community lot, your sorority, anything, anything that you've built, I will, I would love to come tour it. So all you have to do is submit the link for me, a brief description if you like, and try to stay away from store content and custom content so that I can view everything as it was meant to be. You can find me here on YouTube, on any of the social medias, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, wherever, wherever your heart desires, Google Plus, I'm everywhere. <laughs> or always, as always, you can just email me at thesimmerkey at gmail.com. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. Don't forget to hit subscribe so that you don't miss the next video and I will see you guys next time. Bye.